1 cup of bread flour, 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 half cup white sugar, 1 half cup vegetable oil, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 teaspoon of dry yeast, 1 cup of warm fresh milk, 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence, 1 tablespoon of ube flavor, breadcrumbs for coating your pandesal. So now let's start by adding all the dry ingredients together. Before we mix all the liquid ingredients into our dry ingredients, let's make a well in the center. And now, let's start pouring your oil and the warm, fresh milk. Now it's time to make our dough, and the process for doing this is called the kneading. Kneading can also be done using your mixer, but unfortunately, I don't have my mixer with me. So yeah, let's do it by hand. Now let's allow our dough to completely rise up by covering. You can either cover it with your cling wrap or a towel. Allow this process for at least one hour or one and a half hours. 
Once it has completely rise, make sure to check the elasticity of your dough if it is ready. Now you can cut it into pieces based on your desired sizes of pandesal. And now let's start stuffing our cheese and of course our ube flavor or ube halaya into our dough. I'm sorry guys, I thought I was on focus or I was in the center of the camera but unfortunately things happen. So here you go. And make sure that all the stuffings are completely covered and rolled up. And again, we will cover this with a cling wrap and let it rise for another hour. And yes, I tell you, it's a long, long process. So an hour is over and I don't really see a huge difference after an hour. But anyway, we're ready to coat it up with our breadcrumbs. And before I started coating them all, what I did is I went to my oven and preheated it for at least 10 minutes in order to save time. ready to bake and we have used a 375 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes only. And here you go guys, it's all done and easy. My very first successful soft ube cheese pandesal. <laughs> Huh?